Hi, we would like to talk to you for a moment about firepower. You must have Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator 3 installed and running on your computer to play the firepower demo. Included in the demo is the Messerschmitt 410B German Night Fighter. It's a twin engine aircraft. In the final version of Firepower, there will be 12 brand new aircraft, realistic weapons and damage, stunning visual effects, and over 50 brand new historical missions. In fact, you will be able to fly all 25 of the actual missions the B-17 Memphis Bell flew. Firepower will take you 60 years back and place you in the cockpits of 12 of these amazing aircraft. You will experience air combat like never before because these aircraft fly just like the real world counterparts. Listen to what these pilots had to say. Flight models are one of the most hotly debated topics on the internet forums and it seems like everybody who's read one or two books about a particular aircraft has his or her own ideas about exactly how that aircraft flew. And it might have to do with how fast it climbs, how it turns, uh, slow flight characteristics, or what have you. So what we do is we research the airplane with the most authoritative sources possible, and then we take it one step further. We actually talk to the pilots who flew the airplanes in question. Now, in the case of some of the airplanes that we did, like the Mosquito, the TA-154, in the 410, there weren't too many people who actually flew those aircraft, so in those cases, we have to determine, based on similar aircraft, how these aircraft flew. But for the most part, there are still a few pilots living who flew these aircraft, and we talked to those people and interviewed them for several hours each and found out exactly what these planes were capable of. About what was the lowest speed that you would comfortably ever want to fly that airplane? About, I would say that I would want to bring that down to less than about 90 to 110. Uh, then what was your cruising airspeed when it was flying like About that? 220. About 220? Yeah. Oh, okay, indicate yeah. that. Yeah. So a normal cruise would be at a, 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 like five or six degrees nose up then with the bombs. That's right. Well, yeah. the bombs really made a difference in its flying attitudes. Can you yeah. describe a, a typical briefing and, and how you would, what they would tell you and what sure. they would talk about? Every time you know, you pull that curtain back and you would see, oh, it's going to Berlin, Big B, we would say. And uh, probably each plane would take off in 30 second intervals until all 30 planes were in the air. And of course, they moved flak guns around too, so you didn't always get around them. And so we'd hit flak most of the time. There were some planes coming through and uh, my top gunner would say, one's coming in here, one's coming in here. My pilot would say, come on, tell me. Is it 10 o'clock high or where? Uh, it was a very tough, reliable, and dependable aircraft. It would stand up to horrendous punishment in combat and bring the crews home again. And that's what's uh, most important about it to me. By the time we got to the G model, which was the final model, they were a lot more stable, but a lot more forgiving than what some of the earlier models. 